I was born in Stoke Newton in Dorset. And uh, but you've always worked around here, have you? Yes. What kind of work have you done in the past? Cleaning, caretaking, all sorts of things like that. I like meeting people and I like socialising. Um, what else? Would you describe yourself as a hard worker? Oh yes. I get up every morning. When I have to be be up, I'm up on the crack of dawn every morning, ready for the next job. Oh, I went into another job, just helping them out, really. And where was that? In Gillingham. What what kind of job was it? Uh, a DIY. So it was a, a chain store, was it? In yes, it was a chain store, yes. And um, how, how long were you doing that for? Ten years. And uh, what happened eventually with that? Uh, everyone was made redundant. It was a horrible day on the Friday. Awful. Did you get any redundancy money from them? Yes. Uh, do you think that reflected the uh, work you put in over the years? Uh, it's not too bad, but still, we could have done with it. We all could have done with a little bit more to help us out. And, and did the company that made you made, made you redundant give you any help with finding a new job? Not really. They just gave us the job seekers allow just job seekers to book on things. No help whatsoever. No person, person to person no. interviews or anything no. like that. Nothing. So basically, one day you were working for them, and the next day you weren't. As it That's were. right. I finished on the Friday. And that was it. So, as a, as a busy person, I don't suppose you've had much experience of being out of work. Not really, no. So, did you know where to turn? Not really, no. So, what did you do in the end? Well, it went to the job centre, and that was it, really. And my my dear old friend, I've got a dear old friend, which I won't won't name him. He's too precious for that, and his wife, and they're really really good to me. And they've helped me through some sticky positions since I've lost my job. So that's all I want, really want to say on it, really. But to get to the job centre, are you dependent on these friends? Yes, I am. So uh, where got do you to get to Yeovil each each fortnight, which I find very hard because there's only one bus that runs on a Friday hmm. at nine o'clock in the morning, and that's it. The rest of the week you can't get another bus on a Friday. That was it. So you would have had a job getting there and back by yes. public transport? Yes. Now, at the job centre, what do they do for you? Help us find another job, but um, at the moment I've gone for a couple more jobs. Hope, hopefully I've got another application form for another job at a nursing home. But hopefully I will get that one. But I've got to wait and see. Do they, do they give you any careers advice or advice in finding a new job? Uh, you look on the job board club, it's like um, uh, um, it's like a big camera that you look into to see what jobs you can find there. But unfortunately nothing for me at the moment, except for the one at the nursing home. But do you ever, is, is there anyone there who uh, gives you advice on, on what, what you might think of doing? No. And what about retraining? Nothing like that. No, no. I think I could do with a couple more skills as someone win, willing to train me. Uh, and what kind of skills would you be looking for? Oh, all sorts of skills. I put my mind to anything. What about IT? Are you, are you good at no. IT? No. Um, um, mainly old people and things like that, really. And looking after animals, that's another one I can do. So I'm quite confident in that because I did work in Shaftesbury for a couple of months. That was doing um, veterinary care. So I've done that. But do you find a lot of jobs ask you whether you've got any IT ability? Yes. And you have to answer that you haven't. That's right. Yes. Um, but nobody's offered you any IT training? No, never. No. So where have you found yourself now? What's the situation now? <laughs> Home. <laughs> One job, that's all I have at the moment, and that's working for a chiropractor, which is to do with, you want to wash things for him and things like that, and I do a bit of cleaning for him once a week, and that's all, that's all we've got at the moment. 
Fair and all the other bits is housework, I suppose, and going out to my mum and my poor brother. That isn't very well. And my oldest brother now. This week, on Sunday, had a car crash. So, so I've had a lot to cope with for the last few weeks. I'm losing my job. My little, my oldest, my youngest brother. I've got to go down my mum's every night to make sure that my youngest brother's okay. Because he's got learning difficulties. He can't function on things. So that's what I do. So in the meantime, you're getting by on, on the uh, small amount of redundancy. That's right, have. yes. And job seekers. Well. That's right, yeah. Um, the other day you were telling me you'd been offered a job. Yeah, chain store in Froome. But how the earth am I supposed to get there when I've got no transport every day? So basically they were offering you a month's training, was that right? Yes. Um, but they wouldn't pay you? That's right. To the end of September they won't pay you. Pay me at all. And would that mean that you would lose your job seekers allowance? I don't know. Right. That I don't know. But there's no chance of getting there? No. Not without transport, no. But I've just found out a lady down the road I can't mention, but she's told me that they had transport provided. Now, that made me so mad that I'm really upset over it. I've been upset for the last couple of days. Um... It makes you feel very undegraded, especially when you've got to go to job centres and get that little bit of money, which is a, which you are entitled to, which you can't really manage on. I just want to find another perfect job that I used to have. I think what surprises me, and I haven't really given this a lot of thought, um, because I've been fortunate in not being in your situation, mm. but I think I always assumed that there would be training and, and counselling and advice available for people that have been made redundant, but that's not the case. No, no there was no counselling for me whatsoever. I know there should have been, but there wasn't. There was none available for me. So would you think it's fair to say that you, you, you don't feel that you've really had a fair crack of the whip? No, I haven't. No. And having a, a decent, proper job would... would that make would it make me feel happy. a lot happier. Mm. What are your hopes? I mean, what, what are your aspirations? What would you really like to be doing? Oh, anything really. I'll take anything. Anything that's available for me, I'd take, if I could. And are there many jobs around? Not really, no. Not in this area. No. But you've never found yourself in a situation before where there's been so little work? No. No. Because the, the retailer where I was, they are, they were brilliant really, but um, there was a couple that were really nice people. But you think at the end of your tether when that happens to you, Nobody knows how it feels. It feel, you feel degraded, you feel small, and you feel that you're, you're not worth anything. 